M is recognized for five minutes. Would the gentleman yield for 10 seconds? Gentleman from yes, sir. Mr. Yeah, I, I would just point out to, to the gentleman from Colorado's last point, there was one big difference. Bill Barr didn't name Bob Mueller as a special counsel. Bob Mueller was named by Rod Rosenstein. That's a, that's a huge difference in how this whole thing works. I now yield back to the gentleman from Alabama. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hur, in your report, you cited principles of federal prosecution and observed that, and I quote, historically after leaving office, many former presidents and vice presidents have knowingly taken home sensitive materials related to national security for their administrations without being charged with crimes. And this historical record is important context for judging whether or why to charge a former vice president or and our former president, unquote. Why is examining this history so important? Congressman, one of the reasons that it was important was because it would bear on how a jury would perceive, um, how a jury would decide whether or not criminal willful intent was formed by the person retaining or disclosing the national defense information at issue. Has there been an exception to this in the history of the nation? Have we charged any former presidents? As I state in the report, to my knowledge, uh, there is only one exception, and that is former President Trump. Given the history, is it fair to say it's preferable not to charge a former president or a vice president for allegedly mishandling classified documents, in your opinion? Congressman, I, I can't articulate a preference, uh, wh whether it's preferable. All I can talk about is the work that I did, the facts that I found, and the decision that I reached in my case. Mr. Hur, what's the difference in a U.S. senator having documents and a former president of the United States? For, for purposes of proving uh, willfulness, I believe that there would be um, a number of differences in terms of the types of access and the ease with which uh, presidents while in office can access classified information as compared to the access privileges that senators have. Can presidents declassify documents that they have in their possession? Uh, I believe under certain circumstances, yes. Former presidents as well? Congressman, I, I confess I, I'm not, th this is not an area of the law that I've looked into or explained in my report, and I'm here to talk about the work that is reflected in the report. Well, let me say this, sir. You, you have a reputation beyond reproach, and I just want you to know that. Uh, and uh, with, I think that President Biden ought to be thankful that the Attorney General appointed you to investigate his case. But uh, you have a special counsel colleague by the name of Jack Smith who cannot lay claim to such a reputation. Isn't that right? I have no opinion. I don't have anything to say about In fact, Jack Smith, whom Biden Justice Attorney General Garden, uh, Garland appointed to investigate President Trump, has a reputation, according to deep-rooted reporting from the Washington Times, as an overzealous prosecutor who relies ethically or unethically dubious tactics, unquote. And his prosecutorial record is replete with a quote, of, and I'm, with, with a quote, let me say this, string of mistrials and overturned convictions. Actually, Chief Justice Roberts once rebuked Mr. Smith's prosecutor, prosecutorial theory as a boundless interpretation of federal bribery statute. That did not comport with the text of the statute or the president of this court, according to uh, the Supreme Court Justice. And uh, so, you know, my question is, do you think in the case of Jack Smith, um, do you think justice is blind when he's looking at President Trump? Since we've never done this in the history of the country, is justice truly blind? Sir, I'm not here to express any opinions with respect to a pending case against another defendant. I was, I'm here to talk about the work that I did with respect to the investigation relating to President Biden. Mr. Chairman, I yield the balance of my time back to you. 